Hey guys, Dennis78382 over in Lamar today, uh, second uh, stop of the day. And I know we're in Texas because the cemetery has barbed wire around it. Uh, don't know if you can make it out, but that's barbed wire right over the rail fence. So, and of course, you know why they put a fence around a cemetery, right? It's because people are dying to get in. <laughs> I think I just keep telling that joke every time I show a cemetery. You can see how some wildflowers are out, uh, Indian paintbrushes. Um, this cemetery, by the way, is not responsible for accidents. So uh, I guess if I crap my pants today, um, they're not going to just take responsibility. I don't know. Um, no dogs. And that's not nice. It, they should be called unattractive people. But this is the uh, Lamar Cemetery. Lamar, Texas, established in the year of our Lord, 1854. So 10 years before the end of the Civil War, roughly, or seven years before the beginning of the Civil War. Uh, Lamar Cemetery, the burial ground, originally served pioneer settlers of the Lamar community founded by James W. Byrne, 1862, deceased, a native of Ireland and a veteran of the Texas Revolution. It was named for his friend, uh, Marabu B. Lamar, president of the Republic of Texas from 1838 to 1841. The earliest grave is that of Patrick O'Connor, 1822 to 1854, a bookkeeper for Burns Business Operations in New Orleans. The town of Lamar ceased to exist by 1915 and the cemetery was neglected until the 1940s when it was restored through efforts by the family of John Henry Kroger Jr. died 1944. Marker is property of the state of Texas. Donated by the Lamar Woman's Club. And it is buggy today, folks. But that's, uh, that's a pretty neat little, little chapel bell there. And I have gone in there before, folks. I'm not going in there today. I got on shorts and uh, reefs and the grass isn't cut and that just looks like a uh, tick heaven. But that's our second stop of the day, guys, in Lamar, Texas, Dennis78382, saying thank you for watching.